guys you're welcome hope you guys are feeling good so the bible is a human book by bert etzman so let's check it out after high school i decided i wanted to be completely committed to my christian faith and i decided for college to go to a fundamentalist bible college i majored majored in bible and theology and spent three years doing almost nothing but study the Bible, and mm. memorizing the Bible, wow. and learning everything I could about the Bible, completely absorbed in the Bible because I was committed to the idea that the Bible was the inerrant revelation from God. There were no mistakes of any kind in the Bible. This was God's revelation to the human race. When I finished, I went to the Christian Liberal Arts College to finish my degree, and I took as my foreign language department ancient Greek so that I could read the New Testament in the original Greek language. That began the process for me of realizing that the Bible was not the inerrant revelation from God. Mm. Because now I was actually reading I the original text them. and realizing that there were problems that had to be solved. Oh. I, I felt like I could solve the problems, but I was seeing the problems much more clearly Clear. now. When I finished my college education, I decided I wanted to study Greek manuscripts for a living. I wanted to become a, a professor teaching mm. Greek and teaching Greek manuscripts. Mm. And so I wanted to study at Princeton Theological Seminary. I went there and uh, did a three-year three master's degree there and then stayed mm. for my PhD, another four years. Uh -uh. During that time, I learned Hebrew, so I was reading the Old Testament in Hebrew, and I'm reading the Bible in its original languages, and fairly early on, I started finding problems that I simply couldn't resolve anymore. Uh... I found discrepancies, and once I admitted there were any discrepancies, I started finding more, and these discrepancies became irreconcilable. There were actual contradictions, and there were geographical mistakes, and historical errors, and I realized mm. my entire view that the Bible is an inerrant revelation is simply wrong. Okay. that the Bible is a very human book. These books were all written at different times, in different places, by different authors. Uh, there are centuries between the first book and the, and the last book. Virtually all these books are written by people who didn't know each other, didn't know about each other's writings, and they have wide, widely disparate views on just about everything. So that if you're reading the book of Genesis, you'll get a very different perspective on things, uh, even on who God is and what, what God is doing from if you read the book of Psalms. And this collection of books, of course, is a collection that humans made. Uh, the, the Bible didn't drop from the sky one day. Uh, these are simply the books that had been in circulation among Jews, and these emerged as the books that eventually Jews said, these are the books that, that we, we find sacred. That started my process of deconversion. Mm. I, I didn't stop being Christian for many, many years. Uh, I, I simply moved away from being a committed evangelical Christian to being a fairly mainline liberal uh, Christian. Evangelical Christian. It was only about 15 years after I stopped being an evangelical that I stopped being a Christian. I, for about 15 years, I was a fairly liberal mainline Christian. Eventually, what ended up leading me away from the faith was an issue unrelated to my biblical scholarship. It had to do with how there can be so much pain and misery in the world if there's a God who's in control of it. And so, in short, it was, it was the problem of suffering. Why is there so much suffering in the world? If God answers prayer, if God intervenes in the world to help people out, if he's concerned that his people prosper or at least survive, why is it so many people don't? millions of people in wretched suffering. I got to a point I simply didn't believe it anymore and I came to think, you know, probably there's not a God who's active in this world. I seriously... Wait, I want to comment on his last statement. He said, if there is God, why are people suffering? Wait, wait, is that one of the reasons why he left Christianity? If that is one of the reasons why he left Christianity, then I don't think that reason is valid enough. Because other religion too, they, they, God put them other first. Islam, as a Muslim, God tests you. You have to go through a lot of circumstances before God will elevate you. You have to go through a process. There are some situations God will put, Allah will put you into. No matter the religion, be it Judaism, be it Islam, be it Christianity, name the religion. I don't know if later uh, from Christianity he dived into being an atheist, that is, an atheist is a person that doesn't believe in God, 
that God exists at all. So he said he was disappointed because you know he memorized the Bible as at his young age. He even read about it. He read the Hebrew Bible. So when he was going to the Hebrew Bible, he noticed that you know a lot of things didn't make sense to him at all. He said, how come the Bible has contradiction? How come that the Hebrew Bible is different from the normal English Bible that everybody gets to know? So, he said from there, he started doubting his religion, Christianity. Even though it took him 15 years, extra 15 years, because he wanted to be sure. I'm sure there's why he still hold on to that religion. He wanted to be, you know, sure whether what he's doing was the right thing. He wanted to know whether the religion... Maybe he was the one making the mistake or he's, he's the one that is not doing his research well. But he said because a lot of things didn't make sense to him. So he believed that the Bible is not the word, is not God's word. To him, it felt, it felt like it's a human book. It's a book written by a human that does not carry a spiritual power or something. That's how he felt. And he was disappointed because of the fact that based on his research, what he expected was not what he got. So the last statement he made, that's what I even thought maybe after the story he would tell me tell us that oh he now converted to another religion to Islam, you know. But at the end of his story, he said that if there is God, why is that people are suffering? Why is that some people are richer than some others? Some people are poor, some people are rich. You know, there is God. Because God created things to be like that. If if Jesus could come on earth and went through a lot of circumstances. Everything was not rosy for Jesus. Jesus went through it all. He went through the pain, the hunger strike, everything. He fasted for 40 days. That's not part of you making sure that your stomach is not filled with food because he has to fulfill the word of God. You know, he went through a lot of tests. That's how God wanted us to be strong because if everything is given to us at a platter of gold, there's nothing like life if there's no test. If there's no hunger, there are some people that have to be higher than the other for life to balance. Because if everybody is rich on this earth, then what are we living for? If everybody on this earth is totally rich, you will not even remember God. You will not even serve Him. You will just do as you please. Some people will just live a life that you yourself will be wondering, ah, well, there's money, so let's enjoyment, 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 and no, no impact. You cannot make impact. You cannot do. But if God balance it up that god put some people higher than the other so that we can help those people that are, are below us so that from there we can make impacts into people's life into the society so that last statement was not it for me at all because if they're trying to say that because of that they believe the christianity is not really the the right religion because why would god create people to suffer everywhere no matter the religion you go to even as an atheist you still go through that test no matter the religion you want to go to god will have to put us in a process in a process that's why if you go to school they will give us tests you write exam to test our knowledge on what we've learned so far just imagine you go to school and they not give you test and exam what are you going to school to do yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, ah, we didn't know that everything they've taught you, you, you understand. Uh, and that test will be the one to, you know, promote you. So that's how life is. You have to go through some tests. You pass it. Then God will elevate you, promote you. Sometimes God can also, you know, humble us. So some people, when God elevate them to that height, they forget God. They feel like, you know, some people feel like, yes, I've owned it all. So I don't need anybody. I am this and that. They become so proud. Says that it look as if they, <laughs> they are above God. You get it. So that was a beautiful one. I understand his pain. I understand what he's trying to say. Yes, because yes, definitely you might see some errors in the Bible, but you should focus on the positive aspects of the Bible. Everything has positive and negative. This life is positive and negative. Everything you do, there must be a whether it's work or it backfire, whether you will learn lesson or you will you will become successful. That is how life is. So that's why the Bible is also you have to just focus on that word that that will make impact into your life. Then that's what else you should focus on. This life, uh, 
If you focus on your failure, you cannot advance. If you focus on your failure, you cannot move on. If you say, that, ah, I failed, I failed, I failed, and you now say, because I failed two, three times, then I'm not going to you know, try again. Then, you'll be on one spot. You'll be on one spot. It will affect you. It will affect you more than people that are around you. Yes, it will affect those people that are around you, people that you you make it part to in their life or you reach out to but it affects you more thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts i'll see you in the next one